We have several theorems in K-6, uh, our last uh, section for unit K, our circle unit. Uh, we're going to find the angle measures, uh, the measures of angles formed by secant lines and tangent lines. So you know that a tangent line is a line that touches a circle in one point, like this line right here, it touches that circle in one point. But a secant line is a line that intersects the circle in more than one place. So this line here, for example, is a secant line. It intersects in two places. So up here, we have two secants. It doesn't go through the center, um, but it goes through the circle in two places. So we've got several formulas to talk about. Uh, technically, five formulas. I like to think of it more like three formulas. So we'll get to that when we get to that. Okay, so the first one says the measure of an angle formed by two lines that intersect inside a circle. So two lines intersect inside a circle, and it doesn't intersect at the center, intersects a circle, is half the sum of the measures of the two arcs. Okay, so I've got two lines that intersect somewhere in a circle, and I know the two arcs. All I need to do is add the two arcs together, take half the answer. So I add the two arcs together, take half the answer. That tells me the measure of angle one. And by the way, both of these angles are the same because they're vertical angles. So that angle and that, that angle are both the same. Okay, the second one. This time, they're intersecting outside the circle. So we basically have an angle that's outside the circle, but it goes through the circle. Both sides go through the circle. They're either tangent to or they go through the circle. Okay? I like to think of this as, I, I don't really like this formula as much as some people do. I like to think of this formula more of the measure of angle one is equal to one half the big arc minus the little arc. So if you'll notice, there are always two arcs inside here. So I've got this angle goes through, it creates a large arc and a smaller arc, arc, arc X, arc Y. I take half of the big one minus the little one. Here I've got two arcs. There's a point of tangency right there, but I have two specific um, arcs here. The big one minus the small one, half of that. Over here, same thing. Big one minus a small one, half of that. So I use this formula instead of that. You might want to jot that one down in your notes. And then the last one has to do with uh, lengths of segments. These are lengths of angles. This is the length of an angle, measure of an angle. These are lengths of segments. Okay, so we have two segments inside a circle. They intersect, kind of like up here. But instead of looking for the angle measure, we're looking for the measure of each segment. Segment A, segment B, segment C, segment D. All right, so the formula A times B equals C times D will hold true for this one. This is a pretty straightforward formula. These two, I like to use this formula for both of these. So if you think of it, we have a segment, a secant line that's going through. So there's a part that's inside the circle. There's a part that's outside the circle. Here there's a part inside, there's a part outside. What this formula says is X plus W. So that's the entire length times W, which is the outside part, is equal to y plus z, which is the entire length, times the outside. And that's what I wrote here. The total length times the, uh, that should say outside. The total length times the outside is equal to the total length times the outside. Okay? So the total length times the outside, so x plus w times w, is equal to z plus y times y. That holds true here as well. The total length z plus y times y, the total length is t and the outside is also t. So that t squared holds true for this formula. So this is the formula I actually like to use for these particular notes. The total times the outside is equal to the total times the outside. 
So these notes are extremely important because there's a lot of formulas in here. This one again, I like to say the measure of angle one is equal to one half the big arc minus the little arc, as well as the formula from up here. Let's take a look at some examples next.